Hi, I'm Cedric from London Drex. Welcome to another episode of Tips on Technology. Today, we're going to talk about Wi-Fi at home. Now, if you subscribe to a Wi-Fi or internet service, the provider will provide you with a router and a modem combined unit, similar to something like this. Now, they will work for a lot of occasions, a lot of circumstances, but to me, it's like buying a shirt for somebody when you don't know the size. There's no way the provider can tell how big your house is, how big your condo is, whether you have water pipes in between the walls. There's no way they can tell. So this is an attempt at one size fit all, and we know one size never fits all. Now, if you find yourself having some dead spots where you have no signal in your condo, apartment, or house, you can get something called an extender. What this does is you, what you do is you plug in to somewhere where the signal is still decent, but it's beginning to drop off a bit. What it does is it takes that good signal and rebroadcasts it on, say, the second floor of the house so that it hits all those dead spots where you're not getting a good signal. It's a simple process, small device. Now, if you do gaming, you stream video, and you have a lot of devices in your home, you probably need to upgrade your router. You simply plug the original router to something like this, which is a Netgear R7000 Nighthawk router. This will support a lot of gamers, a lot of video streaming, and it can light up a much larger house or apartment than compared to the one you got from the service provider. Now, one of the problems of using an extender or router is that it holds on to the device's signal. So let's say you got home with your cell phone that you want to start using the Wi-Fi. It sees the first strong signal, which is probably the base unit, the very first router it sees, and it locks onto that. As you walk through the house to the far end or into the garden, it still locks onto that particular signal, even though it's probably disappearing and weakening and it should not be used. Now, it, what you can do is to unlock it and reset it to the extender, but it's not smart enough to hand off from one to the other. Until recently, so then something called the mesh network was introduced. Now this happens to be made by Netgear again, and they're called the Orbi. What it does is establish a mesh network. Now what is a mesh network? Well, a mesh network is similar to a cellular network out in the street. When you use your cell phone, it passes the signal from one tower to the next. While you're having a conversation, you don't need to know what's going on, and the signal is passed on without you doing anything. This reproduces that for Wi-Fi signals inside the house. So you put a base unit where your router normally goes, put this in your living room, it's well designed so it's not, it's very tastefully designed so you can put it in the living room and not look out of place. And when ha what happens is when you have your cell phone, you walk in the house, it locks onto the base unit first. And as you go into the living room or into the garden, if you have this there, it will transfer the signal, hand off to each other, and your cell phone doesn't lose a single second of data, and now you have full service no matter where you go in your house. So there you have it, the different levels of Wi-Fi that you can use at home, and that's the tips for today. Mm -hmm.